We finished the wiring harness. So Rob at Legacy EV suggested I read this book, Do Hard Things, A Teenage Rebellion Against Low Expectations. And I'm gonna read it and I'll get back to you guys. But I spent my spring break here at Legacy EV for their EV certification program. And I learned so, so much. Like I learned um, the importance of wiring and a good crimp, so important. Um, having battery disconnects and also like how the configuration of your batteries can lead to like a higher top speed or like more range. And setting parameters, basically being a hacker. That was so much fun. And I got to see how if you like change your gearing or your like voltage, it can have a direct effect on that torque. And I met so many awesome people in this place. That was really what it was about, the people and learning from their experiences. So this is gonna be fun. Hey guys, I'm here at Legacy EV with Tom and Bailey. Hello. It's never too late to upskill and tinker and problem solve. And I think that's what's really exciting about where we're headed is that everyone can get down with some EV torque and high performance of an EV motor. Legacy is a parts distribution company for people looking to convert from gas to electric. We also provide the education to do so. We like to use breadboards when teaching about electric circuits um, because we want to make sure that before learners work with a high voltage system, they have an understanding to pull from as it relates to how to use electrical measuring tools and how to identify components in a circuit that they would ultimately spot when they're building, servicing, and maintaining electric vehicles. Okay guys, welcome to Legacy EV. So I'm here today and I'm gonna be here all week. Um, and we just had the first day. So they have all these little breadboards that we got to work on. And um, we got to use the multimeters as well, but that was in the classroom but they have really nice multimeters, look at that. And then we also learned about recharge and, um, oh, let's see, what was the word? Active discharge. So when you turn off this one with a resistor on it and you turn it off, it'll slowly dissipate unless you short circuit it with another, sorry guys, can you see that? When you short circuit it with another resistor. And guys, I was at the pool yesterday and I scraped my chin. So that might be in the video, it'll be fine snacks as well we love snacks so legacy ev ev certification here i come a live dead live test you're going to verify that there's zero voltage potential on the component you want to work on so you first test and make sure that your digital multimeter is working on something like low voltage 12 volts check the component you want to work on has no voltage and then recheck the testing instrument back on that 12 volt battery to make sure that you didn't break it by having high voltage on that component before you take off your PPE. Okay, so we did a live dead live test with Tom in the shop and that was really cool. Like we got to take the multimeter and test a like source that we knew and then tested a source that we were measuring that hopefully was zero um, volts and then another live one to make sure that it still worked. And then I also learned how to use hydraulic crimpers and that was really fun. Um, and I got to talk with Snow a little bit more and he's an, a great mentor, like he's been helping me so much. And also if you can see behind me, they have this really cool car that they're converting to electric as well. Legacy's mission is to honor the past and protect the future. Honor the past in the sense that we value the community of hot rodding and being able to tinker with your cars and experience the, the fun of driving them is such a valuable moment. We want to extend that to aftermarket applications with electric vehicles too. 
and EV torque isn't so bad either. Today, Bailey had started the day and just handed me a wiring harness and was like, oh yeah, guys, this is their truck, and handed me um, a wiring harness, and then I just got to measure and cut and make sure it was all the right lengths, and that was really, really awesome. And then we went to go um, with Tom, and we got to see this huge, like, um, battery configuration and got to learn like positive negative and how to put the polarities together it was just so awesome to see all that passion in one place this has been an experience of a lifetime and it's only day three guys day three <laughs> when programming don't be intimidated by all of the interfaces as long as you understand what outputs are coming into the system and what your pedals are doing you can pretty much work with any programming interface I'm right here in front of the go-karts and today was all about programming and putting in your parameters and so we got to adjust these carts, these go-karts, their torque and so my partner and I, Rob, we all got to see how that programming and the parameters that you change can affect the torque and how it drives so much differently. So that was really cool to see. The VCU, there was just so much stuff that you had to put in and so we were like, we were struggling but we finally got that motor spinning but I gotta say, um, programming the MCU that was really really fun and I felt like a hacker guys I felt like a hacker that was so cool Legacy EV is super awesome so when it comes to electrical safety it's difficult sometimes to notice that you might be in a threatening situation or hazardous situation and that stems from procedural safety how to navigate around a shop um, as well as personal safety, um, what to wear and how to wear it so that you're keeping separation from the electrical circuit and you, you never want to be a part of the circuit. Today was the last day and it really felt like the last day of summer camp. We got to do like all these little games that Bailey and Tom had come up with. Bailey would do like this kind of game show style and you would have to run and grab the card that had the answer on it. And that was just so much fun. And guys, guess who won that one? My opponents were real good, but... I won! Above all, I love inspiring other women to come into this industry uh, and feel the, the power and fun of being able to build your own vehicle. It's so rewarding and I, I'm really excited to share that with others. And this whole week has been so awesome and being able to learn from, you know, Tom and Bailey and all these amazing people. But it was cool learning the stuff, but it was really cool being able to interact with all the people around me and being able to see all these people so passionate and working at the same time. And now I'm gonna be able to apply all the stuff I learned and all the terms I learned and be able to actually safely install electric components into my Porsche.